Hi everyone, hopefully we are live. I'm not sure if we are or not, but this is a Gibson girl coming to you today. And uh, we are, I'm a few minutes early. Well, actually it looks like I'm right on time. So maybe um, I'll just wait a couple of seconds and see if anybody else pops on. I oh, hope everybody's having a good fun day Sunday. It's been kind of a busy day for us today. Hey, Ida and Deborah, looks like you're both here. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see that far away. And scoot up maybe a little bit. That might help me. Sorry, making lots of noise. Anywho, I'm just starting. Um, I'm just going to kind of wait for a few minutes and see who else pops on. See if anybody has anything they want to talk about for a few minutes. Hey, hey, thank you for commenting, Deborah. That really helps me. I'm going to scoot down here to my thing and I can answer you. So this is really fun. <laughs> this is also my writing desk, you guys, and um, I haven't been using it as much as I should be. There we go. There's a smiley. Perfect. Okay. Just wanted to see how that went. Hi, Elizabeth. Glad you're here. Um, we're just kind of conversating for a few moments. Our card today is going to be kind of a simple card. It's a fun card. It's very colorful. But I was saying that this is also my writing desk. And um, so whenever I get ready to do these lives, I usually have to clean up all my mess and, and put a new stuff up and everything. But lately I haven't been writing like I have been. So... <laughs> Thank you, Deborah. If you could see the rest of it and how it needs to be cleaned up, um, it's 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 really a fun little room, but it needs to be cleaned up. I've been planning classes and and doing all kinds of stuff in here, and I just need to clean it up. That's on my agenda today after I get done with the video. But you could have, if you look, let's see. I don't know if you can see. You really can't see them very well. I'll have to show one of these days. I'll have to come in here and I'll have to show you guys what my craft room looks like behind me because off here to the side of me, I have the Stampin' the uh, Stampin' Up storage system, and I really really love it. You can kind of see it holds the stamps in there really well. You can put the markers right beside it, and I really like that. Um, <clears throat> so that makes it kind of fun. So anyway, well, there's a few of us here, and I have chattered for a whole two minutes, so it seems a lot longer. Hi, Elizabeth. Thank you for sharing. Anytime you guys share, that's great. I love it. Um, I have set the settings on this so that whenever you guys share, if one of your friends comes on and they want to watch the video at the same time, you are able to go ahead and... Um, and approve them. I've made it where you guys can approve it, so I'm glad. Hi, Melinda. Good to see you. I also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but instead of looking this way to this monitor, my husband has set it up to where now I can look straight at the camera, but still be looking at you guys too and see what you're doing. So um, every once in a while, I'm going to comment back because it seems like if I comment back, then um, I can see your comments keep coming through so that if you have any questions you want to ask me, you're welcome to do so and um, everything. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get started with the people that we have. Uh, happy Sunday Fun Day to everybody. I hope you're having a great day. I have my glasses on, so I'll take them off so the glare won't be quite so unbearable. And um, I'm going to show you our card today. It's a really easy simple card call it's a simple stamping I don't know if I'm crooked or there we go <laughs> so we're gonna make this card I chose some really bright colors to use today I used uh, melon mambo um, I'm sorry I think it's melon mambo yeah melon mambo and grapefruit grove is the orange the blue is our um, balmy blue I used the markers I used uh, Daffodil Delight in the center of our flower, and I used Granny Apple Green for the leaf. So thank you, Elizabeth. So we're going to learn how to make it. It's really simple, you guys. And um, for today's card, we're using the stamp set called Beautiful Day. And um, this is a great stamp set for doing uh, embossing with, too. One of these days... I'm going to be brave enough to get out the embossing stuff and show you guys how to emboss cards 
Um, but we're going to use the flower and we're going to use the happy birthday. Uh, May your day be as beautiful as you for our card today. So that's the stamp set. It's called Beautiful Day. And we're going to get started. I'm putting things back. I'm going to have to lower you. So if you get a little seasick, say something like, oh, no, Rhonda's getting us seasick. There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? Okay. So we're going to start off with... This does not look like Melamemba in this lighting, but I promise it's a beautiful pink. Boy, it really doesn't look like Mambo. Does it look? Eh, it's pink, guys, I promise. Anyway, this is eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to score it at four and a quarter. And the way I score, you could use a scoreboard, but as you guys know, I just stick my fingers there, I press, I score. And then I get out my trusty bone folder. And I give it a little swipe on the edges. I like for it to be flat whenever I'm working with it because fighting with a piece of paper that's not flat is no fun. Okay, so there's our card base. We're going to set it to the side. And I'm going to get out the, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, Melon Mambo. That looks really crooked. Hmm, hopefully it's not. I think it'll be okay. Anyway, we're going to take our Memento Black, and we're going to take our Happy Birthday. May your day be as beautiful as you. I'm using a size H block. They're in our catalog. And I've got to where I kind of prefer to do my stamping like this because I noticed you guys saw how I hate having all those smudgies on the edges. When you do it like this, it's raised up, and so you're not pushing the sides into the stamp pad. You're just pushing that. We are going to, I just kind of eyeballed this for a second just to see where I want to put it. I'm going to put it right there probably. Let's do this right side up. And it says, Happy Birthday. May your baby be as beautiful as you. And I like to count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I bring it up. Okay, usually I like it a little darker, but for today's purposes, we're going to leave it as is. Then I'm going to take my Simply Chamois, which you guys know I love the Simply Chamois. I should have already had it out of its case. This is just one of our cases in our book, too, that you can put your stamps in. But I like to use it for my Simply Chamois. And you just have to do it a couple of times, not even really a couple of times, and it's clean. I don't know if you can see that, but it is clean without a shadow of a doubt. And set it over there. I'm going to move that over there with it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to, I'm trying to decide. I'm going to wait on the gluing. And just do it all at once. Then I'm going to get our beautiful rose out. And you can see these have really big grooves. And um, this would be a good time to break out the Stamparatus if you like your uh, edges to be really dark. Uh, I like mine really dark. But I have not purchased the Stamparatus yet, so it's either do it like this or break out another name brand, and I really don't want to do that because we sell the Stamparatus. So I will probably be getting that soon, and when I do, I'll show you guys all of it. But if you already have one, that's great. How many of you already have one? Let me know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to see. Hi, Julie. It's good to see you. I'm going to ask the question here. Uh, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> ah, I can tell I'm misspelling stuff. Ah, guys, I can't see what I'm writing already. How many of you? Let's try this again already have one there we go maybe that'll show me your comments now i hope so anyway let's pick this up guys this is just a uh, i didn't tell you this is just a scrap piece of paper that i used and um you can use any scrap there's no the reason why i just used a scrap is because i am going to fussy cut it out and so you don't have to do that the nice thing about this particular one too huh, even my own uh, comment did not show up so I guess I'm just not going to see your comments till after we get done. So anyway, this is the Balmy Blue. And what I like about this is you can go, because I'm just using a regular marker, 
instead of the Stampin' Blends, I'm just basically doing this, guys. I'm just coloring it as I want to. All the way across the lines, you don't have to worry. The only lines you want to stay in is the ones on the outer edges. And you can, with these, these are the uh, water-based markers, and they do, they're different than the alcohol-based. The alcohol-based, you wouldn't be seeing lines at all. It would all blend. You can make it blend really pretty. With these, you do see the lines. Of course, you do with any marker that's water-based, so this is not a flaw. Um, it's just a fact that you see it. So what I like to do is where I want it a little darker, I go a little darker, make it a little bit, and then I come out a little bit. And then I just keep coloring the whole thing. Like I said, I'm not, because this is not a hard card to do at all, because you don't have to really stay in the lines as far as on the inside, unless you are doing the alcohol markers, and then you, you know, if you want to do some blending and stuff, you might be a little bit more careful. But for our purposes, I just kind of go back in a little bit. I, like, I think this is going to be a little darker. Maybe come around here and make this a little darker. And I just kind of, I do my own shading with the lines because in a second I'm going to take a um, Wink of Stella and I'm going to, and I probably don't shade the right way. I just kind of put color where I want color. Um, I'm not a perfectionist by any means. And so I just kind of do that. Then I'm going to get, oh, I missed a, golly jeepers, I almost missed a whole petal. Can't have that. Anyway, and then I'm going to get uh, my yellow, and same thing, and this is called uh, Daffodil Delight. It's probably my favorite yellow right now. Oh, and you can see I kind of got out a little bit, and when you mix yellow and blue, you get green. So there's a little green in that, but I'm going to break out the Granny Apple Green, and I'm going to do my leaf real fast. Color, 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 color. I love to color, but if you're somebody that doesn't like to color, this might be the the uh, method for you because you can simply color fast and you don't have to worry about it. Then I'm going to get out my Wink of Stella. My Wink of Stella is um, alcohol-based, but it blends because with these being watercolors, it helps to kind of blend a little bit. And you know me, guys. I love my bling. And again, I'm just kind of swiping it across there and getting my color all over and I don't know if you can tell on camera but as you're doing this it really just makes this little flower pop and when your friends and family get this they're gonna be like wow that flower is so beautiful and if they aren't they just don't have good taste you ever had family that don't have good taste anyway now see I if, if it was up to me and I had time, I'd probably go back around these edges with my black, uh, my basic black marker, this one, and I would just outline. But you can see that just putting the Wink of Stella on there really brought out those lines. Let me see. I'm just going to play with this for a second. Do you think that makes a difference? Not sure. Makes, I think it makes a little bit of difference. I can kind of tell on this side. So I'm going to just finish it up real quick. Go around my leaf there. I wasn't intending to go on the leaf, but hey. There we go. All done. Like I said, I like my bling, so it doesn't hurt my heart any at all to add a little extra. All right, guys. I like that better now. Because the, the, and if you, you know, if you're worried that it's on your Wink of Stella, you can always do it like a little paintbrush and mark it off, but there wasn't anything on that. So now we're going to fussy cut. And while I'm, if you wonder what I'm doing, I'm kind of drying it a little bit. <laughs> um, and I love fussy cutting. And I saw this gal on the other day. I'm going to do a little story time, I guess. Saw a girl on the other day, and she was talking about how she was fussy cutting. And she said, I'm going to teach you a trick. And the trick is to move the paper. Well, I've known that trick since I was in kindergarten. Well, I never went to kindergarten. Since I was in first grade, I went to kindergarten after I was an adult as a teacher's aide for three years and I always like to say I had to be in kindergarten for three years before they let me out but um, that was as an adult so but anyway you just move your paper you don't necessarily have to move your scissors a lot you can just go around the edges and I am kind of cutting into the black because those lines are so thick that you can 
Now, if their lines weren't real thick, I'd probably let it have a little bit of a white edge, but I like the black, and so I'm doing it that way. And I've said it a hundred times, and I'll say it again. If you like the white, it's your art. You do it the way you want to. Some people are OCD and are perfectionists. Other people are like me, and we just kind of go with whatever we want to do. And I'm one of those that kind of does whatever I want to do. Um, I'm sure I drove my mother crazy as a child, and probably as a young adult. And I may still be driving her a little nuts, but see how quickly that fussy cut it right out. And look how pretty it is. I don't know if you can see the shimmer. I don't know if you can see that shimmer, but it's there. The last comment I'm seeing, you know what, I think, I bet if I did this, I would see your comments. Ah, oh, there they are. Uh, okay, so I still have some comments coming in. Great. Hi, Bev. Good to see you come in. Okay, now we're ready to assemble this, guys. It was that simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my markers over there. You noticed I was putting my lid on as I went today? That's pretty cool, huh? And I'm going to get out my... Um, I think I'm going to get out the snail. I laid it down. I'm going to use the snail first just because that will be easier for this and I don't have to worry about having any accidents with my glue. And I'm just going to, I'm lining it up with my, my paper here. Although to some people that would not look like it was lined up, but it is. Okay. And it looks like I made my my mom, my mom bow a little bit too long, so I'm just going to take my scissors and go up to the back, and I'm going to clip it. And guys, this is a simple card. We could really fancy this up. We could put some ribbon and stuff on it and make it awesome. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put it on this one too, but this time I'm going to use my, my multi-purpose liquid glue. And again, I'm doing it for fast purposes, but I want to be able to move this around because, as I've said before, I'm the Cricut Stamper or the Cricut Placer, whatever you want to call it. I never seem to be able to get it exactly straight. And that doesn't bother me, but it kind of bothers other people sometimes. So it's kind of nice to have the thing. I'm going to open it up, slide it in here, and I'm just eyeballing it. And because I put the glue on, I can look at the edges before I push it all the way down. I still think it might be just slightly there. How'd you like that? <laughs> I don't even know if you can see that, but I did it. And then I'm going to take my glue dots, my dimensional, not glue dots, my dimensional dots. And the nice thing about these, they're not that expensive. They're like $4 for a pack of them, but you get 300 of them. So you can be at liberty to use them. And plus, guys, once you used all the little dots out of here, I don't know if you can see it real well, but they're, they go all the way around here. Then you've got these edges. And as you can see, I've already started using my edges. So I use up every scrap of this because it's, it's like gold to me. I love it. It's one of those things that I don't have to worry about gooking up everything. And they're, the only thing about these two is if you're a big time crafter, you'll find that these travel with you too. They have a lot of static electricity, so they do travel a little bit. Now I'm going to put my, let's see. Yeah, I still like it better like this. I'm going to put it about right here, just right there, I think. And I'm just going to drop it down. And our card is finished. Now we could go in and we could put a piece of white in the in the inside for helping with the um, writing. Although I don't have a piece with me right now. I just basically wanted to show you the card. But if you did go ahead and get it, it would be five and a fourth by four inches of white paper that you would just put inside here. And you could decorate it also with flowers and stuff if you wanted. Or you, this set has some little dots that you could use and make it in on, on the corner of your paper if you wanted to or something. But anyway, guys, this is our card for today. And like I promised, it wasn't too long, I hope. But we did these two. I did this one earlier. And then I did the butterfly also. I don't know if I showed you this a while ago, but I did the butterfly also to show you. And it's done with the um, um, pumpkin pie is your orange. The yellow is the daffodil delight. 
The blue is your Knight of Navy. I used Old Olive Green, and then I went in with the um, Daffodil Delight again. So those are our colors that we did. This is the set that we did. And if you want to, I need you to kind of let me know. I'm going to ask real quick, do you guys have time for me to show you the new mini catalogs for our new stampers that we just got? If you have time, I'll do it today. If not, we'll wait and we'll do it again. Thank you, Elizabeth. I like the blue too, uh, Melinda. I do. Blue is my favorite color, probably with pink close by that and red after that. So those are my favorite colors. Do you have time to see? I love that butterfly. Yes, Elizabeth says yes. So real quick, I'm going to show you this other catalog. Then we'll go back to talking about this. But this is our new catalog. It's called Experience Creativity. And if you are a new stamper or a stamper who um, just isn't really sure of what you're doing or feel like you're not good enough or whatever, which um, you know me, I always say that there's no such thing. We just go with it because that's art and we do art. So it's called Experience Create Creativity. When you first open it up, it's going to show you, um, it tells you what Stampin' Up! is about, talks about getting started. Uh, things to know, it tells you the difference between a cling mount and a polymer, photopolymer stamps, which you guys know the, sting, the cling mounts are the ones that are sticky, 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 and they go on a clear block. And the photopolymer are the clear stamps, and they also go on the clear block. So they're, they're really nice because you can see what you're doing with both of them, okay? Um, if you see a video icon, that means you can go online and you can see some, some of the things that they've created. And then one of the first things they do is they start you off with quick and easy kits. And it tells you a little bit about it. This is one of our quick and easy quick, quick and easy kits. Um, I'm trying to remember what this is. I'm going to turn it around so I can see it, guys. I'm sorry. Um, 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 um. Oh, this one's called uh, Looking Up Card Kit. And I actually offered that as a class to do here in Kirtland uh, with some of my ladies. And so we are going to be doing this card kit. Um, in one of our classes. It also talks about Paper Pumpkin. You guys know I love, love, love Paper Pumpkin. So it talks a little bit about that and tells you how to subscribe to that, which I will give you my link if you want to do that later. Then the next thing, this is called Quick and Easy Tags. It's a Delightfully Day stamp set. This one is not in our catalog. I feel like I skipped a page. No, I didn't. I don't believe this one's in our, our catalog. I don't believe so. It might be. Hmm. Hold on a second and I'll find out. I've got another catalog right behind me. Uh, sorry about that. I know that there's one that is in our catalog and then the other three are not. This one is, guys. This one's Delightful Day and it is in our catalog. Um, so this one is. I apologize. It's in the big catalog. And it's the only one that is in the big catalog. Does that make sense? But it's got some great sentiments. It's got congratulations, um, delightful birthday, just a little something for you. You got <laughs> it's backwards for me, guys. Um, let's see. Treats made with love. This is great for if you have a little box of cookies or something you're giving to somebody. Anyway, it's got some great sentiments, some great fun little uh, things you can do. You can see there's samples. That's one of the nice things about our catalogs. They have lots of samples for you to choose from. Then, you know we have the Magnolia Suite in the big catalog. Well, this is a smaller set for those that feel just like that's a little bit too much. You know, they get a little overwhelmed. This is great because it has a smaller, it has a smaller Magnolia on it. It has a smaller bud and the leaf and it has happy birthday thank you and congratulations those three sentiments is some you know pretty much all you need a lot of times you know get well is one that you might use a lot but those are our most popular is happy birthday and thank you or at least the ones i use the most and you get the beautiful magnolia and it shows you that this also comes in a little suite and uh, you can buy the whole suite, guys. This one's $45.50. Or you could just buy the stamp set for $14. This is a great, great little catalog. The next one is Celebrate, Celebrate with Cake. 
And I do have this stamp set. I'm going to do probably next week. I will do a, a card using it to show you. Very, very simple. Very, very fun. Uh, they're using pink and granny apple green. It comes in the sweet too. Again, it's $46.50, but you get the stamp set for $16. So you could go that route. With that, though, you if you get the $46.50, you also get the two stamp pads. You get a clear block D. You get note cards and envelopes. You get uh, everything you need would be right here to make all of this. So that's something that's kind of fun. I'm going to go scroll down just a little bit so I can see your comments real quick. Okay, we're good. All right. Hi, Jacqueline. Then we also have Hoot Hoot Hooray. This is cute for birthdays. It comes in, um, it looks like it doesn't come in. Yeah, it does. It's a $60 set. You get the stamp set, the clear block D. Uh, you get a classic stamp pad, which looks like it's upside down. Basic. It's basic something. And then you also get the envelopes and the cards, and you get the watercolor pencils also. So you get everything there. If you wanted to step it up, you could add, um, it looks like a punch, a circle punch, and the stamp and dimensionals. So you could do all that. Or you could just get the stamp set for $21. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is it ten or let me turn it around, guys? I'm sorry. Six. It says there's six. So I guess they, oh, one. Okay. Let me, I'm sorry. Let me do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these come all together. The words come with it. So anyway, like I said, I've just recently got this. So I haven't really paid, you know, went into it and looked at it really good, but I wanted to share it because it's fun. And then this is about becoming a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, which it would make you a part of my team. I would love, love, love for you to become a part of my team for $99. You can choose $125 in merchandise. These are some of the suggestions that they make that you could, actually they say you can choose whatever you want. They're saying that this is extra. I'm saying that you could take these products and add them to your kit and you'd have a really good kit started. Uh, I also have a list of stuff that I think that, you know, for your kit you, you could get if you wanted to. If you're already a stamper who already enjoys stamping and everything, you may already have the the memento black and you may already have the glue and the scissors but it's just a starting place so if you want to join my team feel free to let me know and I will walk you through that process because it's very simple and the nice thing about it is um, they do have a, a quarterly month that they ask you to do and that's uh, $300 a quarter that's a hundred dollars a month but you get a 20 percent discount on everything that you order so you're really spending eighty dollars a month and it's stuff you're going to use anyway if you're a crafter who loves to make their own cards. And these, I got started in this because as a writer, I wanted to do thank you cards for everybody that wrote to me. And so I started with uh, thinking, well, I'm going to get a few things so I can do thank you cards. And then I just had so much fun with it, guys, that it became something I wanted to do all the time. And so I do a lot of thank you cards. I do a lot of birthday. Um, I actually have started a small business where I sell to my my um oh my local groomer and and stuff like that so anyway and then i do if somebody needs christmas cards or whatever they can get those there but i'm going to go ahead and flip you back up so you can see me so take the glasses off so you don't get the glare flip you back up hey guys i'm back let's see if i can get us back there we go i'm back and uh, i wanted to show you real quick you guys have seen this before but this is where you can go if you want to go shopping at my place. It's Rhonda, it's uh, Gibson Girl Stamper dot Stampin Up dot net. This is the June host code. It's D four J H seven E K Y. If you're interested in doing Paper Pumpkin, that's our monthly subscription. Where for twenty two dollars a month, you get everything you need to make whatever is in that kit. And the fun thing is, it's a surprise kit. So you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. <laughs> So kindergartners say. <laughs> and then, of course, if you want to join my team, there's that also. Okay. So Rhonda Gibson, if you go to gibsongirlstamper.stampinup.net, that's the way to go. If you want to go to my blog, go to rondagibson.net, and that'll lead you to all of those different places also. Okay. So that's that. Um, is there any questions? Do you guys have any questions about the card? Um, 
do you want, I'll tell you again that the stamp set that we used was Beautiful Day. There you go. It's a beautiful day. And the item number on that is 145915. Okay, so beautiful day. Anyway, any questions, anything you want to ask before we go? All right, then I'm going to say bye-bye from Miss Gibson, girl. I'll see you next week. Have a good week, guys. Bye.